All right, so look, bro. If you have any questions about the vending machine business, this is the video for you. Everything that you need to know, everything that you want to know is going to be in this video. So let's get it, bro. You too, it's a goddamn deal, man. It's only, only Pap. Happy. And we are back with another video. And today, I'm finally, finally bringing y'all this video, this long awaited video. Kind of like a frequently asked question type video about the vending machine business. So I'm about to expose my vending machine business to y'all. In a good way, of course. You know, so I'm about to answer all y'all questions from the LLCs to the the business accounts to the insurance and contracts and this and that. I'm answering everything. Alright. But before we get to that, if you're new here, I'm Pap G. We do lifestyle videos, car videos, and entrepreneur videos. So I'm a jack of all trades, okay? And we almost at 5K. So if any of those things interest you, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, okay? And give me a follow over on the ground because I'll be putting this shit on. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about it, man. Since it is Monday, I go to my machines three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And uh, I have to do that because my location is a busy location. You know, uh, I just did the math the other day for the month of, what's this, May now? So for the month of April, my location made $1,200. And it's finna be summertime, so that that number probably finna go up to fifteen hundred. You know what I'm saying? So I have a forklift warehouse location. So I'm about to take y'all there, show y'all my machines, and then we gonna get into the information part. All right? All right, I hear my two machines. This is my drink slash food machine, and that's my snack joint. All right, so I got a few spaces to put in. So we're gonna have to do that real quick before these people come in here, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So we just left the location. And uh, I can I can I can tell now it's gonna be a hot summer for them because it was toasty as hell in that warehouse, and I gotta keep them drinks stocked up. Okay, but anyway, uh, I got my got my notes here, so I don't miss nothing. And if I do miss something, I just make another video on it. You know what I'm saying? But one of the uh, the most popular questions I I get is, uh, do you need an LLC? Uh, yes and no. Do you need to start? No. But do you need one eventually? Yeah. Because as you continue to grow your route, you know, you want to be as legit as possible. And people, these companies, these 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 chains, they want to put their trust in a business that's legit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, when you get these big locations like the these schools or these these hotels, they gyms, they, they want you to be insured and you know just, just all across the board legit. You know what I'm saying? But starting out, you don't need an LLC. Like, like with me, I had an LLC through my previous business, the, the uh, Sprinter Band stuff. So what I did was instead of getting a, a separate LLC for uh, the vending, I just DBA PG Vending and it's under my LLC, PG Logistics, right? So, but to answer that question, you do not need an LLC to start. You know, just start. I think that's that kind of hinders people from starting the vending machine business because they think that they need an LLC in the beginning in reality you don't do you need a website uh at some point you will want a website because as i was learning from the dude i was learning from marcus graham he has a website and he gets that's how he gets a lot of his locations if not all because he don't do no cold calling he don't do no no uh going up to these businesses the businesses find him through his website so at some point i'm going to get a website but i don't want to get one now because Honestly, am I ready for another location? Probably one more, but at the rate that website gets, nah, I ain't, I ain't ready. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not ready for multiple locations. So I've been taking my time because I'm trying to get my personal credit so I get my business credit right. That's another thing I'm getting to a little bit, business credit. But to answer your question, we answer your question about the website, you don't really need one, bro. Rare to buy machines. You can go on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, uh, usevending.com, and every city, every state has a local vending machine warehouse, okay? So Google vending machine warehouse for sale near me and all these locations will pop up. So use those four uh, locations I gave you and go buy you a machine from one of those places. How do I find locations? Uh, me personally, this first location, I went through a third party. I went through somebody off Craigslist that sells locations with machines. So that's how I got this location. But going forward, uh, I have two 
apps. Well, one is an app, one is a website. And they are they give you leads, okay? I think, I talked about this in a video a while ago about how I get locations. And I, I mentioned these two these two locations. It's uh, vendingexchange.com. That's the website. Now, I'm not promising you gonna get a location. These are just leads. They just let you know that this location is looking for machines. Do what you want to with the information you gotta pay. The prices vary. You gotta pay, let's just say $500. You gotta pay $200 up front, well, $250 up front. And then once you secure it, you gotta pay the other $250 on the back end. All right. Now, the second one is the Vending Biz app. Vending, common spelling, B I Z Z. It's an app. Go to your app store, download that app. And uh, now, with the app, it don't update every day with new locations. Okay, so I think I, I think a lot of people on my last video, man, I don't get nothing from these. They don't pop up every day. You just gotta be ready for when they do pop up to jump on it. All right, so vendingexchange.com and the Vending Biz app. That's how you can get leads to get locations. Now, if you wanna do it the old school way, you can call, you can cold call these people, or you can just pull up to a company and be like, hey, y'all want machines. I mean, don't say that, but. Where to buy product? Uh, Sam's, Costco, the grocery stores. The grocery store, I really just use them for like drinks because they really got snacks in bulk, you know what I'm saying? But they do be having drink sales, you know? Uh, I get all my snacks from basically Sam's. I get everything from Sam's because it's like a one-stop shop. And with me, I know my people like, and the Sam's I go to, they got everything that my people like. So Sam's, Costco, I already fuck with Costco because Costco just don't be having everything. And uh, I like, nah, Sam's, Sam's only. Okay, so Sam's Costco and grocery store for drinks. Use contracts. Okay, so once you secure a location, you want to have a, a, an agreement type of a contract, so you won't get you won't get messed over in the end. So let's just say you get a location, you you got your machines in, and let's just say they promised you a year. They verbally promised you a year that you can stay here. But they just say they weren't satisfied with the, with the machines and they try to kick you out. See, with the agreement, they can't kick you out. And if they do try to kick you out, they gotta give you a, a 30 day, 60 day notice so you can find a location. Now, so agreements, contracts are important. You know, you ain't gotta get fancy, just get this little generic vending agreement and take it to uh, the middle location once you secure the location so just it protects you in the long run so you, you won't get hold do you need any licenses to own a vending machine business now it really depends on your area where you located at like me and me, me being in dallas texas i don't really need that but now that i have an llc you have to pay like a franchise tax i think it's every month so uh but it's not a specific license that you need to have a a vending machine business, at least not in Texas. So I know that. I got I got that question a lot. So it also just depends on your area. But all I know in Dallas, Texas, you don't need no license to have a vending machine business. Insurance. Now that just goes back to what I said earlier about the LLC. Uh, these big these bigger locations like the hotels and schools, they want you to have insurance. You know, and to insure your machine is, is like twelve dollars a month, depending on who you go to. And but do you need that start night? No, you don't need to start night. But at some point, you're gonna to have to have insurance on your machine. It just protects you in the long run. That should say somebody tried to shake the machine, and the machine somehow just fell on them, and they try to like sue you or something. That insurance can protect you. Or that should say they shake it, they crack the glass. That insurance can uh, repair that, you know what I mean? So, you don't need insurance in the beginning, but you do need it at some point. Company shirts. This is uh, this shirt I go, when I go fit the machines up, but I do have a polo. When I go talk to like the manager of a, a location I'm trying to get at. So you do need a company shirt. You get this, get the logo made a uh, fiber, and then you can just go to your local print shop and get it on there, but you do, you do need a company shirt. You, you just look, you look legit, you look professional, 
and you know what I'm saying? It look like you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't be going any location with it. Like TGs on, thinking you gonna get the location. They're not gonna take you serious. So come there with your with your with your with your shirt and uh, business cards. If since you on it, you do need business cards. So here, where's my that? Here's mine right here. Cover up my information. Bam. I got this off uh, Vista Print. I think it's like twelve dollars, like fifty of them. So going up, create your your logo, print it out. Boom, got you a, a card to hand to locations in case they need to contact you. So I got my name, my phone number, and my email, all right? Business credit. Okay, so look, what I did in, with my first location, I paid for it with my own money. Now, the other reason why I don't have more locations is because I'm trying to get my personal credit so I get my business credit. So. The whole objective is to use OPM, which means other people's money to fund your business. So that's what I'm working on right now. If you got business credit, use that 100% to fund your business machine and business. So you do need business credit. So work on your personal credit so you can get your business credit. You know what I'm saying? Get a, a good uh, trade line and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A, a bigger spending limit. Now we are in 2022. I don't carry cash like that. I'm pretty sure y'all don't carry cash like that. Let me know if you still carry cash throughout 22. But credit card readers. Now, all locations don't really require one, but it, it's just it's just better. And it looks, it looks, you know what I'm saying? It operates much smoother. Because every week, once that bill is up to get full, you can't take no more money. So if you got a credit card reader, you just get your phone and put it up to the reader like that and go from there. I think it's a necessity, bro. Give you some credit card readers. And, 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 if you need a credit card reader, I have a promo code down in the description. It's PAPG on Nyx. Say you 7%, because them, them, they love price. They like 300. So, save you some money for your business and get you a, a credit card reader through Nyx. Nyx is the best company for credit card readers, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, get you a Nyx credit card. Reader. But yes, you do. I I would recommend get credit card readers. Do you need them all at all locations? No. But me personally, going forward, I want credit card readers on all of my machines because I don't have to go every week to get the money. Because sometimes it'll be a, a big wad of money. I don't be want to carry all that cash on me. You know what I'm saying? So get you some credit card readers. So yeah, bro. I think I think I covered everything. And if I didn't, just leave a comment down below, and I just make another video on it. But uh. I hope I hope this video gave y'all the the courage to go ahead and start this this your business because it's not hard at all. You don't need much. You don't take much. This is a low risk, high reward type situation that you can get yourself into. And uh, it's summertime. Hey man, y'all have to take advantage of this heat, man, because them drinks finna be flying. Okay, so yeah, this is the perfect time to do it. And uh, if y'all got, I have more videos, so I make a playlist. I'll link it up here so I can check out other videos that I made by my vending machine business just to uh just to uh give y'all some security I guess you know what I mean but that's gonna be a wrap for this video bro hope y'all took something from this video if y'all did drop a like and drop a comment drop a subscription make sure y'all turn on all post notifications so you won't miss another PAPG video because we be going crazy over here and uh I'll just check y'all next video, bro. I love y'all. Yay!